Welcome to another session with Trial Join. In this session, we'll be covering the FDA Form 1572. This is what every principal investigator will have to sign and provide to the sponsor, otherwise they cannot be part of a research setting. So some of the commitments that are made through the 1572 are that you will inform all subjects that the drugs will be used for investigational purposes and you cannot make any claims to their curing potential or efficacy or anything along those lines. Uh, you will also make a commitment to supervise the investigational study personally. You will make sure all the individuals that are assisting in this study, such as coordinators, MAs, and other personnel, are <coughs> always informed of their appropriate obligations for the study. They'll always have to ensure that they follow the protocol exactly. They do not make any changes before letting the sponsor know, unless there is a rare instance where there is a human at risk. And make sure you have every patient sign the consent form, the informed consent form, sorry, and ensure that all IRB reviews are conducted for material, for the protocol, uh, anything else that is necessary for IRB approval gets the approval. Uh, make sure you inform the sponsor of any adverse events um, and you also record everything and keep detailed logs of everything uh, and, and store it for the designated time that the sponsor and the FDA requires. And all information again is reviewed by the IRB and work in accordance with all the regulations including good clinical practices, the GCP. Hopefully this gives you a quick overview of the 1578 commitment that a principal investigator has to sign, along with sub eyes have to sign this document as well. Um, if you have any other further questions, definitely ask us or your sponsor or CRO. Thank you.